What's up guys? You probably found this video because you're interested in wrapping a car and it's probably the first wrap you've ever done. We're nearly done wrapping this Porsche and it's the first car we've ever done. We certainly learned a lot and we're here today to show you some of the tips and tricks we learned to hopefully make your first wrap a lot easier. Now something really cool about modern vinyls is all of the ones worth their salt have this some sort of pattern. This one's like a hexagon type pattern and they call that air release. And basically how it works is it, it allows for all these little channels underneath the vinyl and it gives the air a path to get out. So this is a pretty big bubble and we've already sort of locked all this stuff down. But something you can often get away with, we'll see if it works on this one, this bubble might be a little bit too big, is you can actually push the air together and then ultimately Try to get it to lay down. I think this one might be a little too big. We'll see. Oh, we got it. Completely gone. So what just happened there is all that air we pushed essentially was pushed out through these little micro channels inside the vinyl. So if you ever run into a bubble situation, you can always try to lay it down that way first instead of having to pick it all the way back up, heat it up, and then try to wrap it all the way back down again. Bubble butt, bubble butt, bubble butt. All right, guys, so what we noticed is as Trav was locking down this line here, there's a bunch of imperfections. I think you guys can see them right there. So he's gonna actually hit it with some heat um, cause you want to get it, uh, when you see imperfections, sorry, you want to be able to hit it with it off of the vehicle or ski box or whatever you are wrapping. So in this case, we're going to pick it up and again, you can see all the imperfections right there. You see how he's kind of abusing it and watch this guys. And you can hit it pretty hard. Like I said earlier, you guys want to test how much heat this thing can actually take. But all those imperfections are literally disappearing. It's pretty incredible stuff, actually. So look at that. Smooth as a baby's bottom. And now he's going to do the same thing. He's going to lay glass by himself. So he's pulling, pulling, pulling. All right, there we go. And then he's going to continue the anchor point down that way. So now's a good opportunity to talk about squeegee technique. Now your squeegee is going to have a hard side and a felt side. If it doesn't have that, you've got the wrong squeegee, so make that happen. The hard side can damage this and it's really for stuffing the vinyl into places, uh, into tight crevices and stuff. So proper squeegee technique, first of all, you kind of want to put a bend in the squeegee. Take it and fold it a bit like this to keep the hard edges from scratching the sides. Next, you're going to want to hold it at roughly a 45 degree angle and roughly a 45 degree angle this way and sort of work like this. Now you can do straight lines, but one thing that we found that works particularly well, at least with this final, is to work 45, 45, and then almost 45 again and sort of drag the squeegee along at an angle and sort of shove the vinyl where it needs to go. For some reason, that technique sort of helps us avoid these fingers. Now, a perfect example of like a finger that goes wrong is are these guys right here. You can see that this is where the vinyl just got too bunched up and it's folded over itself. It's rock hard, you can't get that out. So what we have to do is pick it back up. You're gonna keep it up in the air. You're not gonna pull too hard on it. If you, if you pull while you heat it, you're gonna get this to stretch out. So you're just gonna kind of keep it up off whatever you're wrapping, take the heat, and watch. It'll just disappear. You can lay it back down. Now we're going to talk a little bit about reading fingers. We've ran into two types of fingers. The first one being something small like this. So we're going to tackle this, but before we do, you have to understand and read the vinyl, which that means in this case, this vinyl is bunched up here. And so we need to pull the vinyl away. Now a little bit of heat is definitely going to help as well. So what I have found works best is you put your hand under and you lift up past the finger, give it a little bit of heat. 
you'll see the finger disappear. And then with the squeegee, you just start laying it down using the technique that Trav told you, 45 and 45. And all of a sudden that finger is gone. Now the second finger that we ran into is a huge finger. Now we call these the giant fingers and for a very good reason. You can see that a ton of material is bunched up and there is a huge finger this way. So in this case, heat's not gonna be your best friend. Instead, you need to pick up the material and then readjust it. So obviously the finger is going this way, so we need to pull the material this way from one another. So I'm gonna pick this up. There we go. And then I'm just gonna start laying it down and then with the squeegee, just start working it. Again, the 45 degree angle is what is going to get her done.